hello, this is Bodala again. Uh, this is the sequel to the last video where I'm talking yet again about Dead Island. I know it's not a mirror thing, but you can read it backwards if you're smart enough. It's Dead Island. Um, I'm going to talk about the characters, and I'm going to talk about the storyline, and yes. So, anyways, uh, the characters. This one is the first one. Her name is Perna. Uh, she only has one name. Uh, she is the firearm specialist. Uh, her rage mode, I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, rage mode is when you go into this this blue frenzy. If you, you see it in its blue, um, it is. You're just covered in this blue aura, uh, which you can't see when you're in rage mode, but your friends can see. Um, so anyways, this is Logan. He is the throwing expert. He is really cool. His rage mode is throwing knives, like a deck of cards, like a freaking blackjack dealer. He's just like, ting, 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 And it is amazing. And I was Logan when I played it, so that's true account. Um, this is Sam B, because Sam B need to be the star of this game. Sam B, Sam B got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Who do your voodoo, bitch? <laughs> it's a song he sings. Um, and so he's called, apparently, he's called the Tank. Um, he goes berserk and he smashes everything with brass knuckles, apparently, when he goes into rage mode. Um, oh, well, here's Perna. Her fury skill is called Guardian. Um, she rallies the face of impossible odds. Um, giving herself and everyone around her the ability to regenerate. Um, it boosts all other attributes. And it allows her to use her sidearm even though she doesn't have any gun or ammo. Um, it just, like, materializes, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's cool. Um, <laughs> this is Zhang Mei, whatever. Apparently in this picture, if you look closely, she is covered in blood and she has a lead pipe. I don't know why. Um, yeah. I, I don't know why. She's just, like, drenched in blood. Everyone else is kind of just posing. Like, Logan's like, eh. Sam B is just like, you. And Perna is like, looking into the distance all dramatically. She's like, eh, 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 someone gets this coagulated blood off me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she is the sword specialist. Sam B was the blunt object specialist, by the way. She is called, apparently, the assassin. She goes into this crazy rage where she calls on her martial arts training. And she runs ridiculously fast when she is in rage and when she is, you know, normally there. Because she's in heels, and that makes sense. Like, yeah, I'll just run really fast even though I'm in heels. Like, that would just kill you. And you can hear them just, like, clomping around. And it's ridiculous how easily she runs in heels. But when she curb stomps people, and yes, you can curb stomp people, it is brutal because she has heels. Um, so that's the Asian lady, which that's what we call her. Because we don't like to say Jiang Mei, Ya, Ying It's just really weird. Um, Sam B. Sam B don't like pronouncing ethnic names. Um, yeah, Sam B is a lot more fun to imitate. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so, yeah, those are the characters, and they each have their own specific skill set, you'll learn to love the game depending on the character that you are, it's really cool, uh, Logan's really good, I heard all of them are really good, um, so yeah, it's fun, you'll learn that the katana and the machete are some of the best weapons in the game, unless you're Sam B, in which case the sledgehammer is by far the best, um, but it depends. Your weapons get outdated really quickly and blah blah blah. Uh, you have to also repair them, upgrade them. You can add mods, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Anyways, storyline. So in the very beginning you befriend... Well, in the very, very beginning, you're in a party and you're not any of the characters. And uh, Logan gets mad at you because he was in the playoffs. And Sam B's all like, I'm rapping, I'm Sam B. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Sorry, my screensaver just 
went on. He doesn't say that. Uh, that's what I said. Um, but Sam B, that's his song <laughs> in the beginning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Um, and it's funny. <laughs> it just is. And he's rapping, and he pushes you off the stage, and then Perna kicks you in the balls, and you never see the Asian lady. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and you're not any of the main characters, you take pills, and then you're all like, uh, I'm out. Um, don't know what that means. Uh, you become one of the main characters because they're all immune, uh, to zombie, uh, infection, which makes sense to the game because then you're all like, hey, I'm getting attacked by zombies, but I'm not turning. What's up with that? And it explains that, so it's cool. Um... Yeah, so everyone else has to dodge zombies, but you can just let them bite the crap out of you. I guess if you're into that kind of thing, you weirdo. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially it. You befriend this Australian fellow in the very beginning. He's the lifeguard. Ooh, yay, lifeguard, like Baywatch. Um, but he's really cool. Um, and he gives you a bunch of quests. He helps you get your car to be armored. Uh, which you steal a bank vault car, <laughs> um, and yeah, you get it armored by these two guys, um, I forget, Earl and, uh, Jin, and they become your friends. Earl is this, like, guy who's turning into a zombie, Jin eventually has to kill him, uh, so yeah, she's all sad about that, because she's, like, a super virgin, innocent Catholic person. And she is the stupidest person in the game, quite frankly. She does not know how to handle the zombie apocalypse at all. She tries to give food to these crazy savages that, um, that end up kidnapping her, obviously, because it's a bunch of men and one female, like the only surviving female. Um, that's kind of attractive, aside from the others who are really tough and, like, rugged and, like, willing to kill people. Uh, she is not. So she does not fare well in that situation, uh, and it's kind of sad. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, so, yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, it's not, it's not funny, but it's funny how Sambi and Logan react, and they're like, Bitch, how dare you betray us? Because she took the armored vehicle to give them food. Uh, and it's just, it's funny, um, because they're so terrible. Uh, yeah, so anyways, you're finding this, this cure for this guy whose wife is infected, and he's gonna get you off the island, supposedly. Um, he's really planning to just take the cure, leave you guys, nuke everyone else, and let the whole situation disappear, cure his wife, and just forget about it. Um, so yeah, that's not fun. Um, and every place you go gets ransacked, except the church. Uh, so yeah. The church is your safety safe. Uh, every other place gets attacked by zombies. Oh yeah, wait, no. Um, the Australian guy, they managed to hold out fine. And the lighthouse and everywhere on the resort. Um, that ends up being fine. You end up going to a resort, a jungle, and a laboratory. Which, the jungle and the laboratory are kind of, um, the same. You also end up going into the prison, where, uh, this guy who's trying to get you off the island is stationed. He is like the head of the prison, and you befriend a lot of people along the way, including people in that prison, and then you have to get to the guy, try and get him the cure, which, uh, the guy didn't even finish the cure, uh, he got it out of you guys' blood, um, but he didn't really finish it because he was killed by zombies before, but the guy was like, wait, maybe that's the cure, um, it's not, it's prototype, spoiler alert, doesn't work, um, and in the end, you're kind of just all, like, there without guns, even though you had guns all the way along the way, and all your weapons, you're just there, weaponless, somehow. Um, and Jin is all like, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, you're planning to nuke everyone? Well, it's easy to kill people when they don't have a face, but when it's someone you love, and then he, she unleashes his wife, which has turned by now, and she's a zombie, and she bites him, and he has to, like, elbow her, snap her neck, and then... Yeah, so he's mad, because Jin is stupid. Um, yeah, let's let's take this guy whose only reason here was to cure his wife, and let's make him kill his wife. That, that sounds like the smartest idea ever. Like, it was cool and moral and kind of noble, but yeah, it was stupid. It gets her shot, she dies. 
Um, so yeah, sorry, screensaver again. Anyways, so yeah, that's essentially that. Um, she dies, he has to take the cure because he's turning, and the cure doesn't work, it just enhances the coagulated blood cells, you be he becomes a zombie, and now all of a sudden you have your guns again, which you could have just shot him when he said he was planning on nuking them in the first place, taking the helicopter out of there, told people, tried to get an actual cure um, produced and see if that one worked. Um, that would have been the smart thing to do, but apparently you don't have guns then, but then you have your guns immediately after, then you have to kill him, and he's this crazy zombie. And then in the next cutscene, you, you're just walking around with AKs, which is just like, what? Where were the guns? What? We have them now, really? Sam, you don't understand the storyline of this. Why did I have a gun? Why don't I have a gun before? Now I have a gun out of nowhere. I have my gat now. What the hell's up with this? Sam, B don't understand. <laughs> so yeah, it's just me impersonating Sam B again. Then you go, and then, um scientist guy is all, you're all like, yay, now to get back to my home, deal with my own problems, my own regular life, and then he's like, life will never be regular, ever again, whenever there's disease, it'll spread, it'll spread like wildfire, and it's like, yeah, well, it spread on this island, but it's not like, you know, Ebola is widespread, it's just like, no, 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 not over. Which I think he's right, because you ended up taking this person who ate mummified flesh with you. She has no bite marks, so she's not, there's no sign that she's turning. But I think she is turning because she ate zombie flesh. So no one really knows if that really affects it, but I think it does. So yeah, I think the guy's right, even though he's annoying. But yeah, that's the game. It's really fun. Play it. This is Bodala, signing off. Thank you.